What's up, y'all? It's your boy Spirit Light Body. You already know what it is. Alright, so um, if you read that intro, you already know what's up. And so, you know, I showed you this before. We're checking out the ripple effect, the somatics and shit, right? But notice how everything emerges from that womb. You see what I'm saying? From darkness, even the light. Um, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Nature shows us how energy is distributed from the center outwards, just like cutting the tree down. And you can see that, you know, the annual rings, just like the star trails. You know, I done showed y'all that before. And, um, you know, it's just, it truly is amazing. You know, <laughs> you drop a rock in the water, you know, it shows you, man, like nature, the construct does not lie. Like, it's just certain things that, you know, um, I guess, you know, we can't really dispute, you know. But getting to the goddess, the beautiful goddess. So understanding that all this energy coming into the goddess, right? I mean, it's just so beautiful, this earth, you know, Mother Earth and Father Sky, you know. Some of the ancients looked at it like that, you know. And the mother's the life bearer or the light bearer. And, uh, you know, the father is the cedar, you know what I'm saying? Venus and Saturn, and, you know, I'll touch on that more in the future or whatever um but definitely you know you gotta give respect and reverence to the goddess you know what i'm saying like straight up because any being here in this physical realm comes through the womb it's no disputing that we all know that you know what i'm saying uh it's like a little silly joke when i was growing up they say have you ever had a coochie wrapped around your neck what <laughs> like huh I'm like well when you were born like damn like <laughs> Yo, but anyway, though, you know, not everybody. Some of us are C-section. But anyway, though, so behind the goddess, right? Okay, understanding that the divine feminine force is beyond just what we know as the woman, you know. And they showed you all throughout the ancient uh, societies that this tree of life, you see what I'm saying? Like this, this tree, um, there's an actual science to it, electromagnetism. And, um as above so below so this is um on a macrocosmic scale the earth's toroidal feel just like you have a torus feel but you can see all these different societies were showing you this these trees these trees of life right you know what i'm saying like and it really is a beautiful thing and it is kind of hard to dispute this that they all had this same science all across the earth you see what i'm saying and, uh, you know, it's like I said, it's just, it really is amazing just to see, you know, all the different art, you know, and personification of the same signs, you know, just in different ways. You know, it's just like how we all got different ways of looking at, you know, things. You know, I got my way of looking at life and you got yours, you know, but mine does, shouldn't take away from yours because I can't tell you what you've experienced and what you had, you know, so, I mean just truly understanding this thing for what it is that there really is at the center of this earth at the center of all energy you know what i'm saying like yo there's that that force you know what i'm saying that uh causes that you know like man it's just it's so amazing it's within you it's above you it's below you it's around you you see what i'm saying like yo like you can't escape that you know what i mean like all the ancients you know was showing us these things you know and uh, again, you know, you look at it, oh, well, a tree, you know, well, this tree was actually, you know, kind of like uh, made of light. It was ethereal in nature. You know, it was the uh, birther of physicality and spirituality all in the one, you know, all in the same. So, so beautiful to see that, man. Like, that really is, you know, what's going on here. Oh, and, you know, I had to throw Sumeria in, you know. They love to, uh, you know, worship that society. But so understanding though that the goddess is more than just more than just the divine feminine, meaning there's a female uh beetle, you know what I'm saying? There's a female owl, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just uh so many so many things that this divine feminine force can embody. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with the divine masculine. We often think of this as a man or a woman. But this is an actual true cosmic force and you have the divine feminine and the divine masculine within you. You see what I'm saying? No matter who you are. And um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you all the different things. Y'all think they went through all that. You know what I'm saying? Showing you about the goddess and all these different forms, you know. 
uh, you know, just playing around like, no, this is serious. And they all knew that, you know, that uh, the way, you know, you treat the woman and, you know, that that does affect you. And obviously it's affecting us to this day in so many different ways. But, you know, ultimately, electromagnetism is what's governing this cosmos. Um, magnetism is much more than what they taught us. It's much more than attraction and repulsion. You know, like, like I showed y'all about the energy thing. You know, we seem to think we know everything about energy. It's the same thing with magnetism. You know, like that's an occult science. You know what I'm saying? Because all the secret societies and stuff, you know, prior to Zion, all these different societies that study this stuff. And when they got the knowledge, they locked it away. You know, like they know about this stuff. They know about the uh, cell salts. They know about the oscilloscope, you know, taking the frequency reading of the body. This is real science, taking a frequency uh, reading of different colors, different frequencies. It's like, yo, like I'm telling you, man, like, yo, that it's not a game, man. It truly is beautiful. Like I showed you guys before, you can just see electromagnetism. You can see that X, you know what I'm saying, in everything. I mean, the Beatles, the owl face. Like I told you, you cutting down the trees, you know, all that. Like, you know, like you can see all kinds of stuff, man. Like, and it's amazing how a human and a tree correlates, you know, and the tree correlates to the cosmos, you know, and then you correlate to a tree because trees grow up and down. You grow up and down, you know what I'm saying? Like Sanchez brought that down and went into that. You know, I love his perspective on that because he's right, though, you know. And, um... Yeah, so I just think that's dope, you know. I truly adore it, for real. Like, being honest with you, I do. So beautiful. And that's why I want others to see this truth, you know what I'm saying, that we've uncovered and we've stumbled into and we're just, you know, learning so much about, you know. Like, and it feels like we're so far behind because the ancestors knew about this stuff, you know what I'm saying. It wasn't a game. But look at it right there. The goddess with her hands up and the true six-point star, the curve line, you know, like, not trying to demonize a straight line or nothing, but just saying. And, you know, I showed y'all this depiction before Adam and Eve. Look at the ground, the womb of the earth, where it's all coming out of it. The creation, the life's coming out of it. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, they're showing you, man. Like, that's what they were showing you. Truth hidden in plain sight, man. And then, don't forget, the whole Earth being a generator is once you learn how to reverse engineer this thing, you see what I'm saying? You can literally empower yourself with free energy. That's what they was doing. That's what she's holding in her hand right there, a little mini, little cosmic, you know, um, diagram of the Earth, you know, which is a light, you know, like a handheld light in ancient times, man. Y'all know I love that picture right there, man. Shout out to whoever that is. Who uh, The name is kind of hard to read on there. Whoever drew this, you know, it's beautiful, man. The womb, the womb of creation, where all things come from. Truly is beautiful, man. You know, no perversion over here anyway. You know what I mean? Just look at that. Like, that's called the Baghdad battery, right? <laughs> like, yo, like, they had, you know, uh, batteries and stuff over there in ancient times. Man, like I said, like, man, they knew this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just stuff that they've hidden from us. That's all. They don't want you to know how to generate it yourself. They want you to pay for it, just like nature. They don't want you to go out to nature and in the fields and get the berries. They want you to come to their little store and buy it. Like, I ain't lying. <clears throat> but, you know, again, that's the uh, Dendera right there, Egypt or whatever. Then with the light but what appears to be like a crooks tube i don't know if any of you ever heard of that before but you can research that c-r-u-x i think his name was william crooks but um yeah nikola tesla you know his oscillator right there then you can see you know the uh the jet from Kemet, where they got the jedi from you see what i'm saying in star wars they took that from Kemet, the jet that little pole right there free energy device look ain't that the damn near the same thing that tesla was showing y'all you see what i'm saying like yo like say tesla channel the venusians yeah the ancestors you know what i'm saying like i told you as above so below like yo like luminaries communicate stuff to you all the times so just are you open to it you know like there was this warden cliff look at it man the dome electrolytic battery, excuse me, right there, man. Free energy, wireless energy, right there through the ether. Like, yo, can't make this shit up, y'all. 
<laughs> anyway, though, much love and respect to all my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Holding this imbalanced vibration to the whole family. You already know what it is.